Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac React. Today we're watching the newest episode of Miss Marvel, and this should be a good one because in the previous episode we did see Kamala get transported back in time, it seems. Um, it doesn't seem like a vision, it seems like she's actually there physically. So because of that, we were theorizing maybe she's the one who saved her Nani all those years ago. Uh, but if that is the case, I'm kind of interested in how they're gonna explain that because in Avengers Endgame, they did tell us that if you go back in time, um, and do something that doesn't necessarily change what's happening to you in your present. So I, it's going to be interesting to see if this episode kind of follows those same principles or not. But nonetheless, we're really excited to get into it. So thank you guys for joining us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, what? What? Went black and white. Oh, it's like film reel. Yes, <laughs> how cool. It's like a Clone Wars episode. The Dominion of Pakistan has been demarcated for Muslims, while India is a secular state with a Hindu majority. An unprecedented mass migration has begun. Wow. Violent outbreaks have erupted across the country. People are fleeing. Bloody trains arrive to their destinations as homes are Damn, this oh is my crazy. God. I don't remember learning about this. I didn't, yeah, barely learned about it. Oh, that's when she's there. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Aisha. Okay. Damn, she looks crazy like the mom. Like Kamala's mom. Oh, yeah. They, they casted really, really well. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh, that's the dad. He has the cane. Oh, you're right. Oh, she fell for the freedom fighter. How sweet. She's got the bangle. Yup. Touch me and I'll break your leg. He's like, okay, it's already <laughs> broken. <laughs> There's a food and a place to rest if you need to use my cottage. Wow. So this must be after she split up from... Yeah, she's not even looking for the rest of them, you know? The clandestine. No. Now I know you're just putting on a show. No human alive can resist the smell of a fresh fried butter. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're right, it was really hard. <laughs> and the soul lies down in the black grass the while this dude fooled the dog. What you seek. She's like, this dude's kind of dreamy. What you seek is seeking you. Oh! Aisha. She lives. Beautiful name. That's her. That's what her That's name what means? means? That's how she looked in the picture. Mm. The Nani drew of her. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> Thank you. Look at the rose in her hair. It's from his garden. That's gonna make me cry. Nani! Mm -hmm. Wow, she sounds beautiful. This dude's looking at her like, damn, I hit the jackpot. Bro, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be thinking the same thing. Magic. I can't say it, but I blame her. Oh my god, that was so romantic. <laughs> Who's at the door this late? I don't know. 
माफ करना भैया पुराना माना कोई बात नहीं सब लोग डर गए हैं वक्त भी निकल जाएगा They won't buy anything from them because they're Muslim. Yeah, it seems this is the lead they, up to they, the partition. Yeah, like, and they sent all the Muslims. Who was that? She saw someone out there. Is it them? It's Najma. Oh. She found her. Yep. Oof. Oh, I got scared I for a second. I got worried. How did she know where she was? But now that I've found you, we can put our plan into action. She doesn't want to leave. Mm -mm. You have until sundown tomorrow, and then we will all go together. That kind of sounded like a threat. Yeah, I did. What about her kid? What about her husband? They can't go, right? People are dying. It's just too risky to stay with Sana. We can take our memories with. Yeah, we can make new ones. I know, Peter. New adventures can be scary. That's right. <laughs> Poor Nani. Oh, she's getting a bangle. Why didn't it do anything since she put it on? Maybe she's not big enough. She's not old enough or something? Yeah, maybe. Because isn't she... She is half and half. I was just thinking half, that too. Right? Oh, he was watching her. Make sure Sana gets on that train tonight. Promise me, Isa. Nothing is going to happen. So Kamala's gonna show up right as this is happening? It's crazy. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking too. And she's at the train. How does she know that they're, she knows they're behind them or something? I don't know. <gasps> oh. She stabbed her. Dude, why didn't she go after her? She's trying to stop her. Is anybody gonna help her? Oh my god! Damn, they're all separated. Oh my god! Can she hear her? What? She powered the bracelet? Is she gonna save Aisha? <gasps> She's like, who the hell are you? <gasps> oh, she thinks... What? What? So it was Kamala. <laughs> did she and knew she that would lead? I, I did not think this was going to happen like this. Did she think Kamala was? She, I think she thought, yeah, she brought her from the future. <sighs> She didn't know she brought her great granddaughter. Oh 
Oh my god, baby sauna is so sweet. <laughs> Can you imagine hugging your baby grandma? That's crazy. <laughs> I like how she just went with her too. She didn't question it. She's just like, yeah, pick me she up. She was like, please pick me up. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay. So she thought this was the trail of stars? Yeah. Didn't work. What? Oh, what? What is that? Is she doing that? The power comes within from within you. That's what Bruno said. And he doesn't know she's dead. So Sana has power in her too. Yes. But remember we heard Bruno say that, right? Like it's not the bracelet. It's the something. The bracelet just unlocks what's already inside you. Yes. Is he gonna take her back? What? Everything's the same, it didn't change anything. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, great. Magnum got lost once. I had him microchip. Okay, Ami, <laughs> Magnum is a dog. Imala is a girl. She's like, you can still microchip her. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> if it was legal, I would do it. <laughs> it was legal. Oh my god. <laughs> Log into your account and use the find my phone feature. Yeah. Like, like, for She's like, great. Why am I only just hearing about <laughs> She's like, I could have figured out where she was episode like two, you know? Right. Are they going to want y'all? Aren't y'all like, y'all got kicked out, right? Yeah. And she's so willing to leave her son, dude. Why even have him? Maybe she was just trying to have someone who could... Oh, what? It won't let them back in even if they tried? Is she gonna try anyway? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? That that worked? That closed it? What? <laughs> oh. This is blue. Yeah, you saw his eyes go blue? Oh, she saw. Busted. Mom. Oh my god, I'd want to hug her so bad after all that. <laughs> he just runs off. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Our family is magical. She's so down. She's like, yes. She's like, I've been telling you. This is She brought the picture back. <laughs> Dang, the picture is in good condition, too. I know. Something much bigger. Neither of them would have created alone. You know what I'm liking about this? Her mom doesn't seem mad. Mm-hmm. 
But now she kind of realizes she was wrong all those times. Yeah. Be right back, really. Just one. Her mom's like, bro, I've been worried sick. Look her. at her, she's like amazed yeah. at her daughter. Uh oh, that's gonna make me cry again. You know, if you ever need anything, I'm just take all the way. Although the US government may or may not have several warrants out for my arrest, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I can get into after all this. Just in case. Just in case you're looking. I got the trouble. What is this? It's the miles. Oh. The That's S. That's symbol. Yeah. yeah. Who is that? That's from mother at Yori. No. Oh. No. It's her mom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bruce uh, my Springfield. Nay, mommy, please don't put all these lies into my <laughs> mouth. Okay. It was Bonjour. She's like, get real. That's why I moved to Jersey. <laughs> What's the journey I was intended to take? One that would bring me back to you. Wow. That was really beautiful. Dang, I feel like we haven't seen Bruno in so long. Right? Is he going to see Comron? I knew it. What are you doing? Still called him Brian. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. He's like, me? <laughs> I'm He's the like, only person real? you know? All <laughs> oh, gone. One of my favorite elements. Yeah. He's like, don't try to be friends with me, bro. <laughs> Is he a car guy as well? <laughs> Tesla? <laughs> no. no. I've never <laughs> hung out with <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Poor Comron. He's like, my arm's broken. Right, yeah. I thought your name was Brian this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I had that photo Don't lie, bro. <laughs> you left you behind Finn for yourself. What makes you think she's coming back? She would just leave me behind like some kind of orphan. You don't get it. She did. She kind of did, though. Stay here. We'll figure it out. Well, I don't know if you're hungry, but my nona's eight pounds. She loves some. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no, oh, no. Oh. oh. No! What? The store! What? That's how it ends? He said his, uh, his nano was out of town though. So he's a, like, his family shouldn't be in there. He's gonna be fired though. He doesn't have a job anymore. Shit. Yeah! Well, that was a pretty interesting episode, and I don't really think it went the way we thought it was gonna go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I assumed like Kamala would show up and her and Aisha would like have a talk and be able to work together. And that's yeah, we were gonna get more than just 30 seconds with the two of them, you know. Um, and I, it, yeah, I thought maybe they would have some like talk, maybe like she'd tell her like a little bit more. I thought maybe they would save Sana together, like one of them yeah. pulled off. Uh, Najma and then one of them helping Sana get back to her dad or something, but that is not at all how it panned out. No. And it didn't even really seem like Aisha was completely aware of who she brought back. Yeah, it, I, it almost seemed like she thought she brought back a future a version. Future Sana, yeah, right? A future Sana. Yeah, future version of Sana. I think she reached out to the, the Bengal and used the Noor within her to bring whoever had the Bengal in the future to her present, mm -hmm. which she assumed would be Sana because she, that's who she left the, the bangle with. Right. She didn't think it would go so far in the future to grab her great granddaughter, right? Like yeah. that's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool though too. Like, and she didn't even realize that that you know the family she was fighting for so hard to to protect and everything ended up living so long that her it would have been her great. Right? That would have been her great grandmother. Yeah. So her great granddaughter came back to save her daughter. I don't know. That was just a very I wholesome wonder, moment. I wonder if, her, if, if in her final moment, like she realized that. I'm not sure that she did. 
I don't, I don't know. Or maybe she, she did. She was like, you have to help Sana. You have to go find Sana. Yeah. So I, I think at the very end, she knew like, you're not Sana. Now that brings us to the next thing is uh, in the first couple episodes when they were speaking about Aisha, um, like everybody in the present to Kamala, mm -hmm. everybody like had an opinion about Aisha or were talking about things that she had done, like or bad rumor, things, like yeah. rumors and stuff like that. And we were kind of wondering like, where does that all come from? Because now we now we see that Aisha didn't even make it away from the train station. She died right there. So yeah. where do all those rumors and stuff come from? Um, we were thinking maybe- It came from before, like when she had just met the husband and she had came from nowhere nobody knew where she came from like maybe maybe some of like yeah her situation just kind of popping up out of nowhere maybe it came from that or i was thinking maybe even um people just kind of came to their own conclusions when the dad and the daughter arrived in pakistan with no mother they just assumed she just took off and ran or something yeah um especially because they know that she was already kind of on the run when they met, right? Because she had no family, yeah. she had no friends, and she was literally living under a tree. Now, I think if you're if you're the dad, um, Sana's dad, it makes sense to kind of let those rumors yeah. kind of run wild because the truth is, you know she's being chased by somebody. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to, you know, disagree with everybody and say, no, here's what really happened, here's the real story. Right. Because if she's still out there, that could put her in danger, right? And he he did see Najma the night. Yeah, he did see her, yeah. He saw Najma and he knew that after that, Aisha was like, look, doesn't matter. We'll make new memories. We gotta go now. And I think he put two and two together like, yeah, she is a little bit scared of what's going on in the country, but I think she's more scared of this lady. Yeah. So yeah. I think it would make sense for him to let the rumors run wild so nobody finds out about the magical girl having a kid living in Pakistan, you know? So I could see why he would let that go just to keep her safe. And it must really suck for the dad because I don't, he didn't see Aisha die. No. So if he were to just like assume she's still alive or something out there, he would really never got closure from that situation. Yeah, he heard all that about her and then she had to leave. It's not like Kamala like caught up to them and was like, hey, this happened to Aisha. Like he had no idea. And all, she couldn't. All he saw was Sana come up to him. Obviously he saw her doing the magic too. So mm -hmm. she's got the Noor inside her. So if, if I were him, I would always have in the back of my mind, like, well, she's magic. Maybe she lived. Maybe she's still out there. Maybe I could still find her. But the oh. truth is she died and he never, I don't think he ever realized. And he didn't know. So he probably lived the rest of his life wondering if she was out there. You know, that sucks. Oh God, no. <laughs> this is gonna make me cry again. Honestly, this episode was really crazy. Um, just to kind of like, I mean, we know throughout this season, you know, we've heard of the partition and I feel like I've learned a lot more than I ever did in school, but seeing it and seeing just like these families being torn apart, um, seeing everybody packed in at the train station. I mean, that is just so scary. And I couldn't imagine losing my child or losing my husband or anything. So that was a really, really sad episode, but I'm happy that by the end of it, um nani and you know kamala and her mom they all kind of came together as the women of the family and just like i don't know i felt like their bond was so much stronger after this episode and i'm just i'm really looking forward to their relationship moving forward i did kind of want to mention real quick that uh, i do think we kind of learned a lot about the partition in this episode and i think i even said in the reaction like i don't really remember learning about a lot of this stuff when I was in school. Not that I was like a great student or anything, <laughs> you know, I was like asleep half the time. Um, but I really don't remember learning about any of this stuff. And I think even uh, Nakia said something about that in the first or the second episode. Mm -hmm. She was like, we spent like this many weeks on Greece and we spent this many weeks on some other country, but we, we spent like two seconds on us. Yeah. You know, so they, I think they've even brought attention to it in this show. So I, I don't know, I think it's pretty, 
it's cool, pretty cool it's pretty that they started touching on it more yeah. in this show. And that people like us are able to learn about something we didn't know before. And yeah, speaking on that, in the 40s, there was so much turmoil too, like in so many countries around the world. I've just now uh, recently been learning about uh, everybody else's struggles that they were going through. Cause you're right, in school you learn about like Germany and like the Axis and Allied powers, but Honestly, India and Pakistan were going through their own independence type of thing. I mean, there were Mexico was going through their own thing too. So it's the really- The world was crazy in the 40s. <laughs> bro, the whole world was going through it. And so it's just really cool to see it on the big screen in a Marvel TV show and really getting that recognition it deserves because it was a major event that did shape that region for all the decades and to come people's lives even even till now yeah you know? especially like what amir said he's like every pakistani family has a partition has a story yeah. has a partition story yeah so this is a really cool episode i definitely enjoyed it now at one point in the episode it seems like they did break open the veil mm -hmm. at least a little bit like a little sliver was getting through right yeah um and then one when one of their members went up to it she just like Crumbled. Crumbled, yeah. It yeah. Like turned to dust, like a skeleton. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the fact that they were banished. Like, they're kind of marked. Like, if they tried to get back, that's what would happen. Right. You know? Um, or if it was more like it would have happened anyway. Like, even if they weren't banished, like, something was just stopping them. Like, maybe the veil wasn't open completely or something. I'm not entirely yeah. sure. But for whatever reason, Najma thought she could get through. Like, she was strong enough. Either she was going to get through or she was going to close it. Oh, that's what she said, right? Yeah. She, she, she was, was going to close it. But I just don't understand why she thought she'd be any different considering i thought it was kind of crazy the 180 she did she was like all down she'd been you know down to open the veil for five episodes and then she saw one of her members get <laughs> dusted and then decided okay i've changed my mind i'm gonna close it and left her son <laughs> yeah that's what i want to talk about is like she left Comron, and throughout the series it doesn't really seem like she gave a shit about Comron. no he's always played like second fiddle to what her goal is which mm -hmm. is to get back home or whatever and I was kind of theorizing maybe the only reason she had Comron was to try to create somebody who could use the bangle. Yeah, that's because, and that's what I think. Because, I mean, honestly, it doesn't seem like she really cares about him at all until that last... The very last moment, That right? last final moment. But it almost seemed like she knew her nor or whatever would go to him in the end. Yeah, I don't know if she consciously like sent him to nor or if it just happened because he's like the next of kin or something, you know? Mm. That's, I mean, that's true. We don't know how the Nor works. We don't know if it travels down the family line because we saw that Aisha, her Nor, went to Sana, but we don't know of a time where Sana gave her Nor away to Muniba and then Muniba giving it to Kamala, you yeah, know what I like mean? Yeah, like it doesn't seem like that's happened. Yeah, so. so so we don't know that that's really how it goes, but she was very adamant that like, in my last final moments, don't worry, I will be able to like help Kamran. Yeah. So it really did seem like she knew the abilities were gonna go to him, but I don't know why, because I think I assumed that this bangle was the thing that like activated the Noor inside of you. And so far we have never seen him put it on. Right? And he was just able to use his powers like right away. Mm -hmm. And I did notice, you know, uh, Najma's powers were a different color. We noticed his eyes went bluish green Blue. instead of the purpley gold yeah. that Kamala's is. So I guess maybe their Noor is like specific to them, like their Noor color. Maybe you know? like an aura or something. I don't know, but I would like to learn more about that as well. But. It is just weird that his abilities were activated without a bangle because mm -hmm. I do remember the whole thing with Bruno and he was like, the powers are not coming from the bangle. It's coming from you Inside. and it's funneling through your bangle. Yeah. Now I believe next episode is the finale. So the last one. Mm. Um, and I'm assuming a lot, is, it's going to be just moving from the get go. Cause we yeah. got usually in these Marvel shows, there's like a big fight at the very end, the climax, obviously. So mm -hmm. I, I think, Kamran and Kamala are gonna, I guess, work together and fight the DODC. That seems to be where we're heading. Well, yeah, because once Kamala and her mom come back, I mean, the DODC is gonna be on them because right now they're going after Bruno and Kamran. And she fits the description of 
Nightlight. Yeah, right? the girl who, who did it. We're trying it to drop that name. Right? It's not Nightlight. <laughs> well, as far as they know, it's Nightlight. Right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna probably have to get through that fight. I know in the promotional like posters and stuff, I've also seen Kamala in like her full Miss Marvel mm. um, outfit or full gear. So I'm assuming while she's been gone, Bruno's been making that. And maybe he's gonna give it to her as kind of like a going away present because he, he got accepted to Caltech, you know, and I think he has decided he's gonna leave. Yeah, we haven't like officially heard him say that, but I'm assuming that's where we're I going. I mean, he better, I understand he doesn't wanna leave and they're like family to him too, but it is what's best for him. Cause he, he doesn't have parents, he doesn't have people to watch over him. He's gotta and do it himself. they'll be there for him forever. Yeah. Like yeah. they really love Bruno it's and It's just care hard about moving Bruno. away from people you have an attachment to, you know? I, yeah, I agree. But if anything, he would definitely be like a better asset to Kamala too if he went to Caltech. He would be, you know, the guy in the chair. So I'm excited for that. All right, guys, this was a crazy episode and we can't wait to get into the finale because this one definitely left us on a cliffhanger. You know, we don't know if Kamran and Bruno are gonna be okay. So if you wanna catch that with us next week and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. Follow the Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did wanna make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Gage, Kelsey, Kathleen, and Rambo. You guys are the greatest, along with all of our other supporters. Now, before we go, we did wanna announce another round of voting for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon. The movie choices are Tim Burton's Batman, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We haven't seen any of these movies yet, and we're really excited to see what you guys pick. Now, last month's movie was Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. We had a blast watching the movie and it will be exclusively on our Patreon for this month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on our next one, we'll leave a link for the Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.